literally no one here. Look how empty it is. <laughs> Got my freaking 10 at 10 in the morning. Yeah, I was looking for that. Yeah, me too. <laughs> you know what, actually, I just look stupid. I tried to summon like Beetlejuice. It's like. <laughs> For it to come up. <laughs> right. <laughs> Have a good one. <laughs> That movie, like my heart is still like, that movie was so freaking suspenseful. I wasn't expecting that. I was not, wow. Like I'm like still, <laughs> I'm still shaking. Um, my heart was racing in the best possible way and the worst possible way. My camera is also about to melt in the sun <laughs> for you guys. I just had to, I was gonna film this when I got home, but. Zoe freaking Kravitz, everybody. Miss Director. Writer. That movie was intense, like. So the first thing I'm gonna say, the movie was suspenseful as f <laughs> It was so suspenseful. You're left like, okay, it's about to happen. Something's about to happen. It didn't happen. Something's about to happen. The buildup was, the buildup was, what am I trying to say? I can't even talk. The buildup was, um, it was, <laughs> Dove was like, get your words out, <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Like that movie was so freaking good. It was very uh, hard to watch some parts. Like, just say for instance, whoever you like admire, like whether it's an artist, um, a gamer, or you know, I don't know, whatever you, whatever you're into, whoever your person is that you're just like, oh, I would like do anything to just be able to talk to this person, meet this person invites you to their island and I'm not saying what happens you guys just have to go and see it but you're just like F this why which Prince is already dead so I, I'm I think I'm pretty good <laughs> I think I'm good the movie was wild it really gave very um Jeffrey Epstein can I say that can I say that without my video being like lost in the abyss? But um, definitely gave those vibes. I didn't. I wasn't expecting that. I would say, you know, I wasn't expecting. I just. I. I, I don't know what I was expecting. But there was sexual assault and um, rape in the film. It was very intense. But you know what? It needs to be shown. It needs to be shown because stuff like this happens every single day, if not every minute of the hour. Um, and it's not just to women. That is one thing I want to point out. It was very like girl power, which I like freaking loved. Um, just go see the film. It's not just women that it happens to. It's It happens to men a lot. I think a lot more than what people might think to be honest with you. And it doesn't matter if you are a man or a woman, a boy or a girl, it shouldn't happen to anybody. Do you understand me? Nobody should have to go through that. I'm sorry, she's like, why are you screaming, mom? I'm sorry, I'm just passionate about it. But nobody should have to ever experience any kind of abuse, whether it be emotionally, physically, you know, sexually, just all around, you know what I'm saying? 
I have gone through it. I'm gonna just come out and say it. I have gone through it. I've gone through many things and um, will I make a video on it? Yeah, I will. I will. Just today's not the day and I don't feel like crying on this film. <laughs> We're gonna focus and keep the focus on the movie. And I don't wanna give anything away, but it was just a certain scene in the movie where I'm just like, it's a cycle, you know? It's, it's literally, who's gonna cut it off? You know, who's, who's gonna, who's gonna stop it? Who's gonna say, okay, you know what? Enough is enough. Like, I, I can't, like, like, this isn't gonna keep going on. Like, you're engaged, man. Like, you can hear a pin drop in that theater. There's funny times. They had, you know, very suspenseful times. But the whole movie was, like, a mystery because you're sitting there trying to, like, figure out, like, okay, like, why is this happening? Why, you know, why does she have dirt under her nails? What is going on that's leading up to, like, it all and you're once you find out you're just like damn 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 like damn gina <laughs> like why is no one talking about it but um i honestly wasn't expecting the movie to be about that I kind of had an idea I mean come on guys let's be real with Jeffrey Epstein Diddy and every <laughs> there's been so many just Hollywood's just been on some ish for many years um, we all know there's also a line that Channing Tatum tells one of the people on there on his island that came with them He's like, there's a special place in hell for people who choose to do nothing. And there is. <laughs> there is. I want to close it, but I don't. I need air. And that's what they're going to be saying. <laughs> like, no, I need air. I need water. Another part in the film where her friend is trying to talk to her, like trying to like make some sense to her and... She tells her, she's like, for once, here, I'm not invisible. She's like, I'm not invisible. And because she didn't want to leave. And it's like, damn, like, how many of us go through life feeling that way? You know, just like, you know, like, is anyone going to notice me? Is anyone ever going to, like, you know... You know, and I will say this. <sighs> Don't ever feel like you need to do something or be somewhere or be around certain people in order to feel seen. It's better to be completely alone than need the validation of other people. You don't need to lower yourself you don't need to stoop to anybody's level you don't need to compromise you don't need to ever settle just so you can fit in or feel visible because my thing is you may be lonely now but god will send you your people like god will send you who you're supposed to be with you know he will send who's meant to be in your life what matters is your spirit you know that's what that's what we take with us that's the only thing we really have in this world usually you hear popcorn ruffling the chip bags opening somebody popping a, a coke they brought in you know uh <laughs> chick-fil-a bags being <laughs> anyone who watched my last video you would get why i said that but um <laughs> you didn't hear nothing everybody was just like <laughs> channing tatum you freaking nut in the best possible way <laughs> tequila not tequila like how? how are you and it's funny in the movie they like the girls when they're when they're trying to do something they bring up like tequila and stuff i wonder if that was like a plug to his character in kingsman i don't know i don't know i don't know if anybody would get that or catch on to that maybe it wasn't maybe maybe there maybe i don't know but i was just like mm, 
Is that a Keensman reference? I love Keensman. I love Keensman so much. The thing about it is his performance wasn't, it wasn't corny. I feel like there's sometimes some movies where you have these suspenseful thrillers and stuff. The actors, you're kind of just like, Okay, they could they could they could have picked a better bad guy you know like they could have picked X Y and Z to play this role but he did really really good really good and um, I wasn't expecting the movie to be like that I was not expecting that level of suspense and um, sorry guys everything's just <laughs> I'm falling apart sorry guys I found a shaded spot and I got pizza I'm hungry. I can think better now. Should I show you guys my pizza? So I got a got a Hawaiian pineapple and ham with some honey on the side and some parmesan. Some parmesan. I feel like I said it, but if I didn't, one thing I want to state also: if you ever have gone through, you know, sexual assault, abuse, rape, or anything like that, know that it is not your fault. It is not your fault. In no shape or form, you did not deserve it. Nobody ever deserves that. Nobody ever, 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 ever. I don't care what form of abuse it is. You don't deserve it. And what you were put through does not define you. What you went through was just a part of your story but it's not the rest of the chapter of your life. So don't ever feel like because of what happened to you, it discredits who you really are within before it happening, before whatever you went through. The fact that you are still here, the fact that you're still able to go through life and yes, it can be extremely damaging if you allow it. So don't allow it to destroy your mind. Don't allow it to take up more space than what it's already done for you. Take whatever you're feeling within and release it. Whatever that releases, you have to pray on that. You have to go deep within and ask like what should I do to be able to release it you know I feel like everyone's story is different and you know you have to find out what works best for you whether that is counseling whether that is journaling whether that is taking a hike <laughs> every single day of your life until you can be like you know what I'm good like, yeah, I went through this, but you know what? It, this, it doesn't define, it makes you look bad. You look bad, you know? You're the bad person. I'm not the bad guy. You're the bad guy. They make fun of you or whatever the case may be. It doesn't matter. Just know that they, they won't get away with it. And I know we always want justice here and this and that, and I completely agree. Just Justice should be served. You know, everyone deserves to have that apology. Everyone deserves to have that comfort, you know, of like that person coming to you and be like, hey, like, I, yeah, that was, I, 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 it should have never happened, you know? It's just, unfortunately, we live in a world where 50% of the time, 80% of the time, 90% of the time, 99.9% .9 of the time, it doesn't happen. And it's unfortunate, but find peace within yourself of knowing that evil doesn't win. Bad guys don't win. Come on. Bad guys don't win. I was about to do a whole mukbang. <laughs> mukbang 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 i don't know but uh it's it's too hot to even touch right now but um yeah the movie was really good though i loved it a 10 out of 10 so i definitely recommend it go see blink twice as me and dove melt here <laughs> it was so good it was so good guys two good movies in a row and i'm really happy i'm really happy whoever says movies are dead or you know going to the theaters is dead like oof. 
shut up <laughs> like, just shut up i mean the whole cast did good everyone was hilarious when there were hilarious parts you know the suspense the you really just can't like i didn't see it coming it wasn't predictable where you're like all right i know what's about to happen like and you're just bored the whole film like should i walk out should i walk out well i already sat here 30 minutes so maybe not but like i kind of want to walk out like <laughs> it wasn't that vibe definitely worth seeing definitely worth going to see it was so entertaining so suspenseful my heart was like like my apple watch was like you good <laughs> Are you okay? Should we call 911? Like, it was so suspenseful. It was really good. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed the mess of this video. <laughs> it's so freaking hot. I should have did this at home, but I was so excited to talk about it. I just had to, like, get it out. But, um, I hope you enjoyed it. Like and subscribe. Comment down below. Tell me what you think about it if you actually did go see Blink twice. And if you haven't, go and see it and still leave me a comment anyways and be like, Jules, yeah, you're right. I was like... I wasn't expecting that, you know? Um, I don't know. <laughs> love you guys. Have a great day, night, wherever you are in the world. Sending my love. And yeah. Bye, guys.